What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to this featurette behind the scenes trailer we've got going on for Star Wars The Last Jedi. So as we all know, Star Wars The Last Jedi has finished uh, filming and principal photography uh, a while back, like towards the start of summer is around when they finished. Uh, and so here we are at the D23 Expo uh, and they have been, uh, you know, releasing a lot of uh, interviews and content and footage about all their Disney properties. Uh, it's been a really big event. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let's take a look at what they're going to be showing us for The Last Jedi. I don't quite know what to expect uh, going into this behind the scenes footage. I wasn't even expecting this. Uh, but nevertheless, let, let's take a look at this and see how it's going to go. Uh, originally, I thought we were going to be getting uh, uh, footage for Han Solo <laughs> or a trailer for Han Solo, but... Uh, Nah, that's not happening. That's not happening. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out uh, this behind the scenes trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi right now. Everybody set. Three, two, one. Action. Still building these sets, which is great. Episode eight. The first film didn't even have a number. Okay, get Ray. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my god. Even though I think I know it all, they throw things at me story-wise I never could have imagined. And even though I like how they're going to do his robotic hand, though. Trilogy, it feels like its own thing. Go. Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures, and all these amazing visual effects. Wow. But all the characters are also so complex. Ryan needs to work on his Wookiee sounds. <laughs> Ridiculous. New director. Can't even just learn a Wookiee sound. <laughs> <laughs> good to see Finn up and running again. So that's good. It feels like the storylines are becoming more established. We're really getting to know these new characters. Also with the characters that we know and love. We're seeing their lives change. Everything is being shifted in an opposite way to what the audience expected after Seven. Brian's made Star Wars fresh and new. <laughs> Ooh, they got him looking. They got they got Luke looking extra homeless. <laughs> it'll be a little shocking, but I'm hoping it'll feel real and honest. It's our most ancient story of good against evil, told in the most fascinating way, but it has a real spiritual depth to it. Mm. It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it. Mm. It's a wrap. Oh, sorry. It started playing another trailer while I was watching that. Uh, so I think that was I think that was really really good. Um, I think what this is definitely teasing us the most about with this behind the scenes footage uh, is Ryan Johnson's story, which is the thing I'm probably the most excited about, is what Ryan Johnson is going to bring to the table. Uh, I think he's a terrific writer director from his work on Brick and Looper. Uh, I just think he is a really, really great director and writer. So for him tackling something like Star Wars, I definitely expect something that's a bit more introspective and definitely more personal and, and looking 
looks at things at a much deeper level than before. And from what it sounds like, this is what we're going to be getting. I like uh, the word that keeps popping up anytime someone mentions Ryan Johnson's script for Star Wars is unexpected, uh, shocking, uh, you know, a completely different direction. It's still Star Wars, but it's taking characters in a completely different direction than what we expect. Uh, so, for I, I like this idea that people are going to be surprised when they watch this film in the direction that it's going to take. And I think uh, that that's the thing that, that makes me the most excited out of watching this behind the scene footage. Another thing that's really, really good to take away from this is looking at all the animatronics and puppetry uh, and mechanics that they are using to bring these other creatures to life. I think it's absolutely incredible. Uh, just always looking at like, you know, just what J.J. Abrams was looking at doing with The Force Awakens, you know, going back to this idea of practicality, going back to this idea of shooting it in camera, going back to building these things that we want to see that are from the script uh, and continuing that uh, with Star Wars Episode 8 and of course in Rogue One as well I think is really really sharp it's really smart and it's it's just really really engaging so I'm really glad that they're keeping their focus on this uh, and keeping their focus on making sure these things are tangible and it feels real and it, even though this is just the behind the scenes footage I mean it came off very gritty in that sensibility you know they're in there they're in those explosions they're in with the dirt and the gravel being thrown at them and these characters getting mucky and dirty and finding themselves in very different situations. Um, and of course another thing we can also glean from this is definitely the fact uh, that, that we're going to be having these real sets again as well. The sets look really nice and epic but at the same time we're also going back to being able to shoot at these really beautiful and different locations. Uh, one location that I really want to point out that's going to be interesting is seeing this casino like area that we have. Uh, we're going to be seeing the higher end, the upper echelon of the Star Wars universe and seeing how they live and that's going to be really really interesting as well. Uh, we get some look at Finn and that's that's good to see he's up and about and he's going to be out with this new character uh, whose, whose name escapes me. At the, uh, Rose, I believe it is. Uh, he and Rose are going to be going on this adventure together and possibly setting up some romance romance in case you're not shipping Poe and Finn already. But with that being said, uh, you also see that uh, speaking of Poe, he's going to be spending a lot of time with uh, Carrie Fisher, uh, Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia, and that's going to be great to see as well and that she will be training him to be a leader. Um, as it's been talked about in different interviews that that, uh, you know, they, they spend a majority of their scenes together. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, as well, will Luke Skywalker and um, Rey, they will be spending their time together as well. Uh, and it's interesting, like I was mentioning while I was watching the trailer, that they're going to be handling his robotic hand by just putting, it's just, they just put little rings of like green tape, like he was a boxer, across his hand. And I'm just like, it's so interesting. They're like a rock climber. I just find it so interesting how simple it is to do such extraordinary visuals uh, in movies nowadays. So I just I just love that little detail. Uh, that little detail just came out to me and I was just like, that's, that's nice, uh, how they're going to do Luke's hand. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where Luke is. He is he is gritty looking. He is down in the dumps uh, and he has been doing some soul searching it seems and it's seemingly that he does not like the answers that he is coming out with. Uh, so with that being said it'll be interesting to see how those relationships develop uh, and just what dynamics we're going to come out with at the end of it. Overall guys I think this was some good behind the scenes footage. I don't know what else what you guys gleaned from this uh, trailer but let me know what you found out in the comment section down below. Some things that stick out to you that you find really interesting. Let me know uh, anything I might have missed or forgot to discuss right here. Let's let's talk about it down below. And with that being said, guys, if you liked my reaction and my review, don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to become part of the Geek Nation and get more videos and reviews and gameplay and all that stuff exactly like this, although this is not gameplay. But to get more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I've been Daniel, and don't forget to get geeky.